Hello, everybody. The book I have tonight is called The Rabbit Listened, and it's by Corey Deerfeld. One day, Taylor decided to build something, something new, something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. <clears throat> but then, out of nowhere, things came crashing down. The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck, what a shame. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. Cluck, cluck. But Taylor did not feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Grr, rawr, how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Grr, rawr, rawr, rawr. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. trump da I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering, so the elephant also left. One by one they came. The hyena said, hee hee, let's talk, let's laugh about it. The ostr ostrich said, gulp, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo said, tsk tsk, what a mess, let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock down someone else's. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually they all left until Taylor was all alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened the rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened 
as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. That's the story. You know, sometimes things happen in our life and we don't know what to think. We don't know how to react. And, and, and it's always a beautiful thing when someone just comes and listens to us when we're ready to talk or just to be with us in our silence. And maybe you've done that for, other, for your friends or someone that you know and love, that they're sad and maybe they don't want to talk, but they just want you to be there. Just being there is a gift. It's called the ministry of presence, just not a gift, but the gift is actually just being there with somebody who's going through a really hard time. And that's what we do as followers of Jesus. We listen, we just be with people as they share their life, their stories, their, their sadness and their joys. And I hope that you are able to do that for others and I hope People are able to do that with you. The rabbit listened. What a beautiful story. Let's pray together. Good and gracious God, sometimes really bad things happen. We don't know what to think or say or do. And thank you for being with us in those times, for being with us always. And thank you for sending people into our life who will just listen, who will be there just sitting with us in our silence as we work through our feelings until we're ready to share them. Thank you for loving us, for staying awake tonight so that we can sleep in peace. Amen. Good night, everybody.